All right, this is Cal Root Peng and wife, known as the Lost RVers, celebrating the one year anniversary of our Jayco 175 J Flight SLX Jayco travel trailer. And we bought this when we, a year after we bought our 2017 Highlander. And we decided after we bought the Highlander that we wanted a trailer, so we put a tow, uh, a hitch on the back of the Highlander and towed this for around a couple thousand miles. We live in the Sierras. The Highlander did great, but I didn't want to burn out a brand new motor. We owed too much money for it, so we traded that off for an F-150. And the F-150, 2017, also fully loaded, four-door. Tows this like it's not even behind it. We scoot. So we're thinking about trading up to a 212 QB which has a uh, walk-around bed and a face-to-face -face dinette plus a couch sofa in the back it's 10 feet six inches tall this is only eight feet tall and the width is about seven seven ten seven eleven and you do not need extended mirrors to drive this thing at all nor a, a sway hitch nor a, a weight variance so far and we've taken 14 trips in it towed it with the Highlander and the F-150 all up to Seattle and back. I'll show you some magnets. Anyway, this standard to crank up, this was $12,900. $12,900 for this guy. Uh, propane battery has two, two storages, one there, one back there. We did lose this lower grade. Yeah, we didn't tighten it down and it flew off, but we replaced it, no big deal. Here it is right here. 75 RD. And the tow weight on this is that's 2,900 pounds. Yeah, 2,910 pounds with a cargo weight of uh, 840. If you fill up your water, that's uh, 218 pounds. But we never get that much. So anyway, we'll start here. One year anniversary. We love this thing. The only reason we trade out is because we like to have a walk around bed. Otherwise, <laughs> there'd be no way to leave this thing. You got a cabinet here, cabinet down there. I leave my ice chest there just for the sake of it. Under the bed, you flip this up and the storage is all back here, almost the whole width, accessible to the outside, three windows. This is a house air conditioner. It's perfect. Doesn't give you any height on the on the on the roof, and as it keeps this place chilly. Cabinet here, cabinet here. And look at this. Remember, if you go back to I just did a uh, I just did a show, Cow Expo RV show, and I opened up a cabinet, and this thing just buckled. This thing is just strong. Jacobs are made well. You got lights here. You got one back there. That window opens and that window opens that flips up a lot of light the kitchen look at okay so you, you close off you close this off i showed you all this before but it's the one year anniversary so you open this thing up here the there you go boy I tell you what you close this off Okay, so you have a lot of distance. Here's the door. You have a lot of distance between your bedroom, which is a full, folks, this is a full-size queen. It's not a shorty. And on some of them, you just can't put one in. This one is full-size, beautiful. We bought an eight-inch mattress plus a three-inch topper. This here is a king-size, expensive, <laughs> but I bought it because, hey, we're, we're doing this. A king size electric blanket gives you all kinds of heat back here just because there's so much hanging over, it's just a lot of heat. But when you close this off, that's isolated up there. And, and, and you start everything right down here. Look at this. You got this huge, this huge counter spot. You have your sink. You got, this is for when you're plugged in. The refrigerator's down here. You got cabinets here. It's 175 RD. You got cabinets here, cabinets down there, two burner stove. Of course, the coffee pot when you are not plugged in. 
plenty of water. You come over here, now the bathroom, you know, the other units do have a bathroom. Uh, sink in the bathroom, sinks here. It was adequate, it's fine. You get a lot of leg room. Now we use the shower because we use, you know, we're camping, we're camping and we want to use it, we just take this bucket. I got a walking stick, that pole holds up the bed. And pots and pans, we got cast iron pans in there, so I want to keep the weight over the axle and uh, just good place. And when you do take a shower, we just take that out. I know, uh, but this is only 17 feet long. Hanger umbrellas there. 17 feet long towed by an SUV was. We're not towing with the F-150. Getting tangled up here. Here are the, the magnets. Bandon. This Oregon coast over here. Seattle. Shasta. Bigfoot comp uh, country up by uh, Mount St. Helens. We went up to Mount St. Helens right here. Tillamook. All the lakes. Seattle. Took a ferry. That's on a video. And over here. That's where I keep my pins. This is my pin collection. My wife takes the magnets, I find the pins. Now this is the best part of this unit. This is a 175 RD. So you're back here. This person's still sound asleep. Well, look at the amount of room you have compared to the other ones. The other ones right here from right about here back, that's where you, all, you have all your stove, your, your sitting room, your dinette on either side, but you're right right here so all the commotion is here the TV's up here or back here this one you're making your coffee down there or here but that's pretty quiet but it's perking down there I have to walk so it's one two three four five so you're taking six steps just to get back to the what I call the living room well that person's asleep you're brewing your coffee here you come down here and you plop down here and look at the look at the distance, twelve thousand nine hundred dollars. Look at how much room you have. Now it's not you know it's not flashy. TV should go up there, but we have it over here. But watch what I did. I took out the big table and I made the cabaret. Look at that. <laughs> I know you saw it just a second ago, but uh, yeah, uh, but yeah. So we have the big table, and you'll see them in all the the all of the uh, RVs. They, they have two legs and that center that center table took up all that space and then you flopped it in there and it made a bed with the, the cushions well we never sleep back there and we're just hauling it around so I went out and uh, I made this table and on eBay I got these on you, you just get the table mounts it's held on by eight bolts screws and I even bought the, the this is birch 18 wood and I bought that on Amazon because eBay didn't have it. And I made myself a cabaret type of table instead of that big round one. And this is beautiful. Look at there. <laughs> yeah, that would be an Instagram keeper, you know. That's what I made. I just put it in today. And that's why I'm in here with my camera and, and just showing you this. And it just happens to be one year. It's an actual one year we've had this thing. 14 trips. You know, there's the top. Oh, listen, the music's even playing, so I can end this on a high note, huh? No, you can't hear it. I don't want to get busted by YouTube again. This is on YouTube. So anyway, this is the back of it. You have your storage down here. All your cassettes or your CDs. And then this here, you have storage, well, a cabinet here. And a cabinet back here, but it runs the entire width of the, the trailer. So a ton up there. Underneath this counter, you can access storage that you can also access from the back. So just to wrap this up, this is the 175 RD made by Jayco. I picked this purposely because of the layout and the queen size bed. That was the main factor in picking out a small trailer. And I think you should think about that too because sleeping is the number one priority. And that's a pretty nice sleep. You get yourself an electric blanket. And there it be. A lot of space for a small tr 
travel trailer. Now you can go on. I, I went to the Cal Expo and walked through, God, 15 or 20 different uh, trailers to tow with an F-150. And we settled on the one like the 212 for the money. The Lance is a beautiful one. It's a 22, but they want $49,000 for it. So that's it. That's our trailer. That's one year. Everything's working fine. And we love it. Absolutely love it. If it had a walk around bed, I wouldn't trade it because we can get to places with this little guy. I mean, we're scooting. Now, I use the word scooting and lugging. And if you have, you know, one of these big old lunkers, 30 feet, you know, you know, they say it's 30, but it's really 35. And, you know, it's six, 7,000 pounds, which I can tow with that 150. I can go up to 7,000, 7,500 pounds comfortably. It has a V8. It's a 2017 with 32 or 33,000 miles on it. I can tow one. I don't want to because we've gotten in some campgrounds where you couldn't have gotten in with a big one. And, and uh, with this 175 RD, TV goes up there. We bought one uh, setup. Didn't really fit, and I didn't want to put any holes in the wall because we may trade this in for the 212, which is the same unit. But up there is a walk-around bed. And right here where I'm sitting, look at this. I can put my feet up, man. There's a lot of room in here, folks. I'm just telling you. It's, you know, I'm cheap, but I, functionality. I always use the word functionality, man. You want a lot of space, and you can't get any more space than this. And with this table here, this is, I'm fishing. I'm just sitting out here, man. I'm going to YouTube's, have some wine going. There's my remote, and there's my TV. And this is in a 17-foot travel trailer you can tow with an suv or a minivan or a small pickup so there you go cow root peg and wife known as lost rvers just came back from cal expo so i did a lot of reviews and you know just to keep on uh, justifying keeping this i don't think you can go wrong for the price if you can find one they're hard to find now because they're so popular because of me <laughs> hey you guys if you can uh, hit that subscribe button i'd appreciate it my wife would appreciate it we you know it's we aren't going to monetize but it's always fun to have people watching what you're doing and uh i hope you guys have as much fun as we do and we'll see you on the next trip we're going up to tahoe with this that's why i made that we're going up to tahoe just for an overnight or we're lucky you know it's only a, an hour and a half two hour pull straight up right you're going up a volcano and we're gonna probably stay at zephyr cove or one of them something called nevada beach we'll see and until then we'll talk to you later cow root pig and wife known as the lost rv or lost rvers until then we'll see you on the road bye